walking through Universal City Walk right now on our way to meet our family and friends at Universal um, Studios. We plan on visiting the Tribute Store. We haven't even been somehow this holiday season, so we're excited to see that. I always love the Tribute Store. It's one of my favorite things at Universal, actually. It's so detailed in everything they do, and I always like to say, oh, I like this one better or the last one better. I compare them. So, um, and then also I have to get the ice cream. The apple crumble ice cream in Harry Potter um, is my absolute favorite, and that's one of the main reasons I ever even come to Universal, is for the ice cream. So, we'll see what else we get into. Alright, we made it into Universal. As Candy said, we're headed into the Holiday Tribute Store and I've heard that this year the facade of the Tribute Store is fairly nondescript, that there's not a lot of stuff happening on the outside, that they pretty much just kind of left it more like a, you know, like a New York storefront or some sort of like storefront so it doesn't look like super intricate. I don't know, I haven't seen it. I wonder what it looks like. So we're going to run up there, we're going to take a look, but I think the inside is where all the magic is going to happen this time, so I'm anxious to see it. We're walking by the Minions, sort of the Minions Mayhem area, that the, the brand new, right across from Despicable Me, which we've already reported on, but basically they're building an entirely new Minions interactive play area there. Basically this whole area is going to become a Minions land, um, which, I don't know, I mean, do you really think, do you, does everybody think that Universal needed a Minions land? Seems kind of odd to me because it's also like right in the very front where you first walk in. Like everything right here would be Minions. I don't know, I don't know if I love that because I like this sort of like facade and feel that it's like kind of like a street going down like a back lot, but I don't know, maybe it'll be kind of cute. Right here is the little advertisement for Illuminations Villain Con Minion Blast coming summer 2023. I don't know. You know, I'm just not sure if that's going to be great or not, but I mean, fans of the movies will remember that Villain Con was like this imaginary, you know, basically kind of like a Comic-Con um, for villains in the actual Minions um, Despicable Me movies. So, I don't know what it's going to be, if it's just going to be a walkthrough or some sort of like ride, like um, Buzz Lightyear in Magic Kingdom, where you kind of, or like a Toy Story one, Toy Story Mania. But we'll find out more as the uh, the coming months go by. We'll see. Villain cons, the kind of concept around villain cons kind of sounds pretty cool to me. I think I see Optimus Prime up here. Actually, I heard Optimus Prime before I saw him. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's looking a little dark from this angle. Let's see if I can get a better, better angle on it. Yeah, there we go. It's getting better. We did a trailer reaction video on the new Transformers movie coming out. Um, Beast Wars the Beast Wars version of it, so you should check that out. I'll link to it below. I'm kind of excited about that movie, um, although visually, I don't know. They're using the um, the kind of old school. Yeah, Trent, Optimus knows I'm talking about him. They're using the um, look and feel of the original Transformers, which I really love, but I will say I feel like the CGI in the trailer wasn't that great, so I'm hoping they improve the CGI before the actual movie releases. You know, we're walking around Universal right now, and this is what I was talking about. So if you watched our previous videos um, around Kings Island, the holiday winter fest that they have there, and how it's just all beautifully decorated, there's lights everywhere, they have over 5 million lights in the park. And through that video I kept saying, I don't feel like Universal or Disney are like decorated nearly as cutely, it doesn't feel as festive. And as I'm walking around, I mean, you can just kind of see, there just isn't that much. I mean. There's some, there's like a couple of wreaths right there on that uh, Mel's drive-in or, you know, restaurant. A couple lights here and there, but see how you can just kind of scan around and you're not really seeing any decorations. It just kind of just looks like standard Universal Studios. Um, I feel like they could do more. We ran across this cute little reindeer display. It's like Santa's sleigh here. Um, but again, it's just like this small little spot right here. If you look up there at the at street, see it, it's starting to look kind of cute there. And I saw, oh, look at all these cute little like boxes and stuff. And like maybe there's like a little, almost like a scare zone, but like a Christmas zone. Nope, it's a private event. That's what those are tables right there. Um, and it's blocked off so you can't walk through there. Ah! 
Look who we met yeah. up with. <laughs> we met up with Lexi and, well, I should say Weena, she gets mad. And we met up with, what's your name again? Wow. <laughs> Wendy and Austin. And there's candy over there. So where are we headed now? Where are we going? Ice we cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Woohoo. What are you getting? Who's getting what? What are you getting? You're getting water? Five beer ice cream. Water. Okay, what are you getting, Wendy? Um, I don't know yet. Ice cream. Awesome. Butter Butterbeer ice cream. Yeah. It's all about the butterbeer. Oh. Well, they have decorations and uh, Wizarding World here. Out in London. On our way in. So at least they made this really cute. And it actually feels very festive and Christmassy. So that's cute. It's all decorated, and then I think probably once you walk in, there's not going to be a whole lot, but there'll be a little bit. It's cute. I have to hurry and go get mine at Fortescue's. Fortescue. I never know if I say that right. If I'm wrong, just um, correct me in the comments. I don't know how you say it, but the ice cream shop in Harry Potter. That's why I say. Um, but I'm going to go get mine, and hopefully they have cones. I was. I'm traumatized because one time out of the million times they didn't have cones. Um, so every time I'm like, are they not gonna have cones? <laughs> but they probably will. So here's all the people always waiting for the dragon to spit fire and roar. Um, they're always standing right there. So you kind of have to dodge them on the way to the ice cream shop. And let's see if there's a long line. There's no line outside, which is good because there normally is. Oh, there's hardly any line at all. See you guys in a bit. You know, it's actually kind of funny. You see all those, saw all those people waiting to get a, a video of the dragon. Um, it only takes like one or two people. You can, you can kind of have fun with this. It only takes like one person just stand there with their camera up. If you hold up your phone with your video, and point it towards the camera after maybe like a minute or two of doing that all of a sudden there will be another person that will start doing it and another and all of a sudden more and more people start doing it because they think that you know something uh, so you can actually all of a sudden get a huge crowd of people putting their video up even though it's not time for the dragon to go off it's kind of funny it's melted i asked her why she said because it's been sitting there a long time kind of annoying yeah thanks <laughs> That's Brady Smith with nuts. That was my recommendation. Apple. 10 out of 10. What does it taste like? Oh, green apple covered in like a caramel nut covered apple. I don't know. Is that what it is? Is that what you call it? Wow, that sounded like one of my descriptions. <laughs> well, I don't know it's an it ice creamy thing with nuttiness. <laughs> Goodness. That's, right. the, that's, that's my food description. <laughs> Wait, what do you call it? Well, last time we were here, they were just putting this tree up. They had the anchor points in there, but they didn't have any in the tree. Look how cute it looks. So the question is, where's Earl the squirrel on that thing? I see him. There he is. Earl the squirrel. <laughs> There's Earl. All right, we made it to the tribute store finally. Yeah, see, it's like uh, L. Stein and Company department store, kind of like, you look at the, the mannequins in the window, it's kind of like 1950s, almost like Macy's, you know, storefront. So it's not like super elaborate on the outside, but it feels very like department store in like New York City that you would've went in for holidays. So let's check it out. Look at that cool elevator. Neat. Yeah, there you go. New York Holiday first floor, the Tribute Department store, Wizarding World second floor, Whoville third floor, and Earl's North of the Border fourth floor. So it looks like we're going to get, we got a sneak preview of what's going to be in each one of the rooms. All right, let's enter the first room. Fresh cut Christmas trees. Okay, yeah, okay. It's kind of like a department store, New York department store. So far, I'm not too impressed with the first room. It's cute, but I feel like there's a lot less merch or decorations than there normally is. I don't feel like it's very elaborate. It just seems, seems kind of normal 
decor to me. Um, I'm not super impressed yet. Yeah, I mean, it's not, the first room is definitely not super elaborate. Uh, elaborate. And we're about to head into the, I can hear the Harry Potter music playing from here. But this first room is really, it feels really small to me. Um, usually this whole area is so packed with so many cool things to look at, it feels bigger than it really is. It's a really small room when it's just decorated like a standard department store. And there's not that much merchandise in this room. It's really small. Um, so it's funny. It's funny how small something can feel or how big something can feel based on how it's decorated. But I still think it's cool. Like if you look up here, there's like Empire State Company, New York. There's all these windows. Check this out. There's Carl's toy chest over here. Yeah, it's like there's also like little window displays inside here. Carl's toy chest. That's kind of neat. A little display. And this is like a real model in here. This is not like a projection or, you know, a screen. Like there's actually a model in here. I don't know if you could tell that because it seems like on the camera there's like a some sort of effect going on that almost look, makes it look like a TV screen, but it's actually a model in there. And then they have that window up there, so like, very Coca-Cola. You got Santa right here. Ooh, I see a, yeah, there's like a little menorah up there in that window. That's cute. Oh yeah, a little happy Hanukkah candle, and another little menorah, ornament. It's cute. New York's famous roasted chestnuts. Yeah, they have really they have this they have those chestnuts again this year at the Festival of the Holidays. Those fresh chestnuts, man, they're good. I think it's the first time I've really ever had them. And then they have another little window here. So yeah, it's kind of cute in here, but again, it's not really super elaborative. Why do I keep saying elaborative? That is not a word. Elaborate. That's so weird that that word keeps coming out. I don't know what's happening. Um, so all right, let's head into the Wizarding World room. I want to check this out. It looks cute. So I'm gonna I'm gonna assume this is like. Christmas ball kind of feel. Um, they had that in a previous tribute store where you checked out. Okay, I hear the I hear the Harry Potter music. So what do we got? So this is a department store. So this so it feels like everything so far feels like it's supposed to feel like a department store in a particular land. So like the first room is a department store in New York. This room is obviously. A department store if they have department stores in the wizarding world but a store in the wizarding world in you know harry potter universe so it's kind of cute um i think the facade is really cute over here i don't know if he probably already showed you um but i guess they just don't have a lot of holiday merch at universal so to me it's the same merch i've seen a million times so i'm not that interested but the actual facade is cute but like the merch i'm not interested just because i've already seen it Oh yeah, look. It's the little plant that screams. I thought she was holding over your owl. Yeah, it's the, wait, what is it called again? Mm -hmm. owl? A plant. Why, why, am I, <laughs> why am I not remembering the also, names of these the name things? Of him? It's, uh, no, it's called Mandrake. Mandrake! Yeah, thank you. Finally! Man, we had to have, we had to have a team member, <laughs> cast member here help us out because we were blanking on everything. It's got an owl. It's got an owl. It's got a little owl there, that's cool. Yeah, so I think it's neat, and this is, I don't know why, but this, like this area here, kind of makes me feel like Quidditch, even though it's not, because it's like the red color from the Quidditch store, but it's not, it's just all the different houses, it's cute. Yeah, that's a good point that she just made with regards to the holiday merchandise, because a lot of the merch in here does kind of feel like the stuff that's at the, that you've been seeing at the normal Wizarding World stores for a while, like, you know, I've seen those before. So from a like a holiday exclusive merch perspective, I'm not really seeing a whole ton um, in this room, but it still looks pretty cute. Yeah, like look at all those little houses up there, little like rooftops with the snow. It's pretty neat. Kind of gives me honestly, it kind of gives me a Frozen Ever After vibe, like the little the line, the inside of the line for the Frozen ride kind of reminds me of this. Here's the tribute photo studio, so you can pay money to get your Get your mug up here on this wall. I've been wanting to do this actually. We've said this every single time. They've done they do it for the um, Halloween Horror Nights, they do it for Christmas, and I've been wanting to do this, and I say that we're gonna do it every time and then we've yet to do it. So I'm not sure why. Alright, so if I remember correctly, this was the Whoville room up here. 
Whoville store. Well, oh, it says Whoville. Let's see. Oh, oh it's cute. Definitely getting Whoville vibes here. Okay, so so far this is the cutest room that they've they've seen. It's Whoville, and there's people over here. But let me look. There's a little. The facade is like the little house. The Grinch song is playing, and right over here is the Grinch, and he's holding a baby Grinch. And you can get your picture taken here. It says "Welcome to Whoville." And what's this over here? Grinch collectible figurine. I guess you put money in there and you get this little figurine of the Grinch. Oh, look at this little window display. Lime green is my favorite color, fun fact. So this is one of the other reasons I like this room because it's lime green. This little hat's cute. I need this. People call me the Grinch. Although now that I live in Florida, I'm not as Grinch-like as I was because part of the reason I didn't like Christmas was because it's cold in Ohio. It's not cold here, so I don't mind it. There's more Grinch merchandise, but once again, this is all merchandise I've seen out in the other, um, out throughout the parks. Nothing is um, something I've never seen before, so I don't know. Kind of not that exciting but I actually really like this hat I haven't seen this before it's reversible look it's naughty and nice I'm about to buy this I'm not even kidding let's see how much it is look see naughty not I mean that's the nice one and then if you reverse it it says naughty and then they have scarves too $35 that's a lot I'm gonna hold on to it and try to decide that's a lot for a hat when I don't even need a hat but it's cute and the rest of this is just Grinch merchandise I've seen a million times. But the facade, once again, is the cutest one that I have seen. That's it all. I'm the Grinch. I don't actually know how much it is, but it fits on your head pretty securely. I think it's cute. <laughs> We're heading into my favorite room, which is the room that has all the snacks. Although, sometimes the second room has snacks in it too, but they didn't this time. But today, the fourth room, this is where you check out when you buy stuff. And it's Earl the Squirrel. It's the Earl the Squirrel room. There's a lot of Earl the Squirrel stuff in here, that's for sure. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of Earl the Squirrel. Earl the Squirrel's Christmas Curios Museum and Emporium. I mean, there's literally, it's all about Earl the Squirrel in here. If you don't know the story of Earl the Squirrel, check out one of our other videos where we've talked about Earl the Squirrel. Um, I'll link to it below. But there, there's a whole story behind it. It was a real squirrel that was in the Christmas tree. Something happened to it. I won't say what. And it became a legend. Yeah, there's a lot. A lot of Earl the Squirrel stuff. So if you're looking for all the squirrels, so this is kind of like feel like the like the room where there's a lot of actually exclusive Christmas merch. There was a little bit in the Whoville area as well. Um, the, the the first room had some Christmas merch. The third room, which is the Whoville, and this room have a good amount of Christmas merchandise. The Wizarding World one really didn't have much. It's cool though. What kind of snacks do they have? We're gonna have to come back and get some of these snacks for sure. Well, they have a lot. I need to get them soon because usually they're like all gone as we get later into the season you know I've had I had one of these Santa boots last year it was different than this one it was okay it was pretty good but it was just mainly, mainly like icing gingerbread cookie sandwich with icing that looks good I'm not a big fan of macarons so I'm gonna pass on that but I'm really digging. I love the decorations. The way that they make these look, I'm just going to say it. They're so much cuter than the way Disney does their decorations. I think their snacks look a lot better. And I actually think they're, they're, most of their snacks actually taste a lot better than the snacks at Disney for sure. There you go. World's best nuts. You're interested. Look, it's like a little camper. Um... Is somebody, oh, somebody's getting something, so we're waiting in line. Earl's photo op, take a picture, it'll last longer. <laughs> All right, and as always, the last little room before you walk out. What do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? 
Earl Lando Preview Center. Huh? What is this? Earl Lando. Um, I think maybe it's supposed to be like a little like Earl the Squirrel Park that's opening soon. Yeah. Earl Lando, part of Earl's North of the Border, coming soon. Top of the World Shop. Okay, cute. And then they have the world's largest Quercus Ruba or, or Acorn? I have no idea what... I, I'm not even going to... This th there, there you go. That's what it says. Whatever that says. I don't know what that is. But it's a pretty big, uh, pretty big acorn there. Pretty big. We just came by the tree again and I noticed he comes in and out of the tree. Like he's on like a little arm. And like he was, he was tucked back in there. I was like, "Wait, what happened to him?" And then he just now came out. See, look, he's going, I think he's going back in. Yeah, look, he's hiding. There's a fireworks show going off over here. The water show. Is he gone? Going in there. So we had a lot of fun here at Universal tonight. We saw the trivia store, which wasn't actually my favorite trivia store I've ever seen. It was cute, but I, it was definitely not my favorite. I don't think it was as detailed as they normally are. Yeah. The Dr. Seuss room was my favorite, and the ice cream by far is my favorite thing at Universal. What did you guys think? Yes, it, the, the, the last one, the E.T. one, has been my favorite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the classic, whatever it was, classic trivia yeah. store yeah. with yeah. the Back to the Future, Jaws, yeah. King Kong. That one was that one was that one was tight. Yeah, I feel like they good. went all out for that one, and they probably will for Mardi Gras again. I would say. Yeah. Um, but that's all we have for you tonight. So um, thanks for joining us. Like, subscribe, comment, all the stuff Steve tells you to say every day, and you don't do. Just do it for me. Really? <laughs> so. Because they don't do it for me at all. <laughs> I was just gonna say they're doing that horse thing, where it's like if I tell them to do it, they're like, they said, have you, have you seen that horse meme that's on like Facebook and that stuff? Whatever you know, yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll, here, I'm gonna show it right now. There it is. You see it? That. That's what everyone's doing. It's like if I if I say you like and subscribe, they're like, I'm horsing it. No, now I'm not. I was gonna do it because he said it. No. Whatever. So that's all we have for tonight. Thanks for joining us. The noble way is the easy way. way.